And we're here to say that we are people of faith. Amen. And our faith is what gets us through tragedies like this. Amen. It's what brings us together as a community. It's what here to say is you're not alone. We want to walk beside you. It's also here to say that faith can make a difference. Yes, it can. Faith is the fuel. Faith is the fuel that ignites that fire to change our community. We need to have a community change in the mindset about guns, the way that they don't have to be used to settle uh, when, when we don't need to use guns, uh, to settle conflicts and disagreements. And we also have to find a way to reduce the number of guns on these streets. It makes us so sad when we hear of young people, teenagers, feeling like they have to carry a gun to protect themselves. And we want to break that cycle. We want to break that cycle with the gun manufacturers. We want to break that cycle with the gun dealers. And say that we want to break, we want to break the cycle of straw purchases, where people go and purchase guns that isn't even for them, and spread it out in our community. And there's ways that we can do this. Heating God's call is committed to being able to cut down on illegal guns that are flooding our street. Amen. We're also committed to being able to provide alternatives for young people. To provide alternatives for young people so they can learn that there's a different way. Dad, when guns down, we don't need to. But anyway, Isaiah 40, 21, 28 through 30. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord, he's everlasting. The Lord is the creator of this earth. He never grows weary or weak. No one can understand the measure or understand. He gives us the power to be weak. He gives us the strength to be powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired, and the young men will fall in exhaustion. For those who trust in the Lord and find his new strength, the soar high with wings like eagles, and they will run and not be weary. They will walk and never faint. You understand these words? Enough is enough. Amen. My brother was a quiet. He was quiet. He always listened to music. He always protected me like I protected him. Okay, and can you just tell me what the last week's been like for you and your family? Yes. Since this happened? It's been like, I don't know, how should we take it? I guess God got him now. Could we good? Be up there with the rest of them. They're looking down and watching us. Amen.